<laughs> Hi, you guys. It's me, Kiana, coming at you today. And I'm coming at you. I was laughing because Daddy was being fresh, as usual. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, I was coming at you guys because I wanted to talk about some things that I find that a lot of people that's on weight loss journeys, vlogs, um, you know, documenting their weight loss, whatever kind of weight loss they're trying to do or whatever kind of diet they're trying to do, I want to talk about some things that many are not going to talk about or either many just don't um, bother to talk about. And I get overwhelming uh, messages, overwhelming messages with talking about, you know, how I'm inspiring them and how, you know, they're um, they're trying to do their weight loss journey, whether that's the Atkins diet or another kind of diet. Um, and I just want to basically be able to, so that you can see that you too can do it. I want to talk about some things that people don't talk about, that people don't say. So I wanted to, it's just a lot of things I'm just going to throw out at you. It's not going to, it's going to be all over the place. It's going to be all jumbled up. But, again, this is giving a voice to the people that really have had to struggle all their life with their weight, um, whether it's from pregnancies, whether it's from, you know, things that have happened in your past and you turn to refrigerators and food. You know, I want to be that voice, and I want to be able to um, show you guys that if I can do it, if I can do it having struggled from childhood, you know, coming out 10 pounds. And nobody in my family is under 9 pounds, 9 ounces, except for Pootie. That's only the only person in my entire family that was under 10 pounds, basically. And I've always had to struggle this. And although I've loved myself, and although my self-esteem was high all of my life, I still wanted to be better. I wanted to be a better Kiana. And because I want to be able to live longer, live better, and get around better, that's why I decided to go on my weight loss journey. So, um, as you all know, you heard in the previous video, 42 pounds later and 74 days later, um, daddy over there smiling, um, you know, it's things that has happened in that 74 days. Um, I can give you an example. It was so long, it took so long for me to, it took so long for me, you guys, to literally get to the point where I didn't have to fear food. And when I say it took so long, I'm talking about even in this diet that I'm on. Um, how can I put it? It's not that I feared food because it was a, it was a different kind of fear. Um, I think it was from just the fact that I've always never watched what was in my mouth. I never watched what I ate. So because of this, it was almost like second nature for me to, if I grabbed some chips for pootie, to eat some myself. So I would find myself, and even not that often now, but for the first like month or month and a half, you guys, literally I would find myself getting ready to eat little things. Um, if I've seen um, a Starburst on the couch next to me, um, literally I would forget for a second because I would go to grab that Starburst and eat it, but I literally had to remember that I couldn't eat it. Now, I've never went off of my Atkins diet. I've never eaten anything that I wasn't supposed to eat, not even once. I've never done a cheat day. And... It's literally taking a lot out of me or a lot of strength to remember or to remind myself not to eat those things because it wasn't that my body was desiring it and it wasn't that my mind was desiring it, but it's the fact that I was so used to just eating whatever I wanted. I was so used to eating off and on all day long, just stuff that I didn't even care about. I was so used to doing that that literally I had to remind myself, and that's just, just sit and think about that for a minute, to have to remind yourself not to eat those things. 
It literally, and it wasn't because I was hungry. That's what. That's the part that, that I'm trying to stress to you guys. It wasn't because I was hungry. It wasn't at all. It was all because I was so used to just eating anything. And it was so habit-forming for me that to get out of that, literally sometimes I would be fearful of that. I literally would have dreams sometimes. And I would literally, I'm so adamant with this weight loss, you guys, I literally would wake up out the dream. The reason I would wake up is because I didn't want to eat those things. I would literally have be in my dream eating certain things or getting ready to eat certain things. And it's so strong and embedded in me not to do it anymore, you guys. And I'm so adamant with this weight loss. Literally, I would wake up out my dream because I didn't want to eat those things, not even in my sleep. So I think that we all have different levels or we all have different times that we come to this understanding that we really want to do it. Because I've been on diets off and on in my life. You know what I'm saying? What fat person hasn't been on a diet? I mean, really think about it. But to stick with it was a different story. And I've never stuck with any diet longer than three or four weeks. Never in my entire almost 40 years. Never. And so when you've done that, when you've eaten all those years, whatever you wanted, it becomes so habit forming that literally your hand reaches for it without even any thought. Literally. So a lot of people don't talk about these things. They don't talk about the fact that they've reached for food for getting they was on a diet. And I'm pretty sure some people have reached for the food and put it in their mouth and actually ate it by mistake. But I made sure that I didn't do that. I made sure that I came to a place where I knew for sure I was not going to turn back. And like I said, this happens and different phases or stages for people because, honestly speaking, when I went on diets before, I told people, "Oh yeah, I'm on a diet. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn back." And then two weeks later, if I seen them eating the cheesesteaks up, I wanted one. Um, and what I do now is, whenever I'm tempted, like when I went down, like we had the um, the, the the yacht ride yesterday on the ship, you know. I wanted to go to Leston Market because Leston Market in Maryland is like the business. I mean, it has every kind of fried food, every kind of delicious food you want to eat. And I had to make sure that I didn't go, you know. And Daddy said I didn't get him a chicken box because I I refused to go go into the the, the Leston Market. Excuse me. And what I do is, whenever I feel like I'm tempted, I substitute it. So what I did was I immediately, immediately ran to the food market and got a salad. That's what I did. And that's what I do. When I see somebody eating sweets and say if I'm like, ooh, that cupcake looks so, so good. When I feel that, I grab me a sugar-free Jello. Even if I already ate, because it's better to eat that than to eat what I'm actually desiring with my eyes. Are you understanding? So I'm just passing on things that has worked for me, and that's what I do. Um, if I see somebody eating a chili cheese dog, and say if I want it, I'm going to make it. The, I'm going to make it very similar without the bread and stuff, without the extra carbs from the processed chili and all that. I'm just going I'm just going to basically do it Atkins friendly. So that's how I'm able to be efficient and and stick to this diet. And somebody left me a message, a guy, he said no offense. He said no offense, but you know, as you get smaller, you're going to it's only natural to have a cheat day. And that you're going to desire to be quote unquote fed. The thing is, is that obviously he's new to my channel because I eat and I eat extremely well. But I've lost this 42 pounds in 74 days because 
I have been I've I've been strictly eating according to what my diet allows me to eat and what works for my body. Now, the thing is about this cheat day or quote unquote cheat day, we're lying to ourselves. I can say this because not because I'm perfect, you guys. I can say this because I've done it. This is not no new game to me. This is something I'm a rookie to this. You understand? I'm not I'm not a rookie to this. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm a, I'm not a rookie whatsoever. Weight loss issues, nowhere near rookie. So when we cheat and have these cheat days, to me, all it's doing is feeding that need, letting the food beat you, quote unquote, getting it out your system, and then all you're gonna do is have that same desire chasing you around in your head again to pop up later. That's all it's going to do because all you're going to do is you're going to feed into exactly the same feeling that got you in the position that you're at. I no longer want to feed into it. I no longer want to give food that much power. And when we have this cheat day, we're giving food a power because we're actually dedicating a whole day. Think about it. You're actually dedicating and looking forward to this one day all just to be able to eat foods that you know you're not supposed to eat. That's a lie. And that's a lie from the pit of hell. <laughs> people don't want to hear that. They're probably going to dumb down. Those are those people who feel as though a cheat day is something that they have to have. And you know what? Do what you need to do. But I'm just being honest with myself because in order for me to really be successful at this, you guys, I have to be honest with myself. And if that means that I have to expose myself like I've done on YouTube, if that means that I need to admit to some things that is not pretty, if that means that I have to um, lay out addictions that I have, if that's what it means and that's what it takes for me to get to success, then that's what I'll do. And when we use these times, cheat days, and, you know, all this kind of stuff, we're lying to ourselves. Because all we're doing is feeding the same addiction, the same issue, the same problem to what got us to the situation we're in now. You don't have to have a cheat day. I don't care. Just like he said, when you slim down, your body's going to need to be fed. I eat. My body is fed. But guess what? My mind and my heart is telling me I do not need those things that I'm not supposed to eat. And as simple as that, I'm not going to throw all these days I've been on this diet, I'm not going to throw it all down the drain for a cheesesteak, a chicken box, um, a double cheeseburger. I'm not going to throw it all down the drain because that's how I look at everything that I desire with my eye. I look at it as, is it worth me throwing all the days that I haven't done, that I haven't eaten those things? Is it really worth me throwing all that away? Is that one meal that I'm after, my eyes are after, and I desire, is that one meal worth me throwing it all away? And the answer every single time, when you know you've worked out when you didn't feel like it, when you know you've turned your back on cakes and ice creams and cookies and all that, when you know that you've done that, and in my case, I've turned my back on some great free stuff <laughs> that I couldn't eat. So when you know you've turned your back all this time to throw it away for that one meal makes no sense whatsoever. Not only does it make sense, it's it's just not only does it make sense, it's really not worth it at all in any way, shape, or form. When you compare two and a half months to one meal that takes five minutes to actually eat and digest. It's so not worth it. So not worth it. And that's how I view it at all times. Whenever my eyes desire something, it's not worth it. So I just wanted to discuss this with you guys and give a voice. to Sometimes, like I said, people are not going to tell you how it's so habit-forming, the, the, the bad eating habits that they've had before, that they literally 
have to smack their own hand and say, hey, you don't need that. Literally, it was that bad for me. And now today, I can still sit in a house full of different kinds of foods that I cannot partake on and that I cannot eat and still know it's not worth it. So on that note, you guys, believe in yourself as I believe in you and believe that you too can achieve all things through Christ that strengthens us. Be blessed.